This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia Koto and welcome to Brazil Imperial in about 3 minutes, review copy used. It has a very basic solo mode. It's a game for 2-4 to four players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty complex game. The vast Amazon and its surrounding lands is not yet a nation state, but many colonial powers are invested in its future, as are the locals. Can you guide the creation of Brazil? The game ends shortly after one player has completed a goal from each of the three eras in sequence. The winner is the player with the most points at that time, and you get points from loads of sources. Just look for the laurels. Area Control. Controlling tiles give you bonuses and let you build stuff. Action selection. Each turn you will take one action from the seven available action windows. Player turn. The game has four basic resources, wood, sugar, coffee, and cotton. Gold can be used as any of these four, and science can be used as all six resource types. Resources are frequently on the board when you spend them. Here we spend two gold. Each player takes a player board, places their palaces on the right, manufacturing goods on the matching slots, and troops on the left. You then select one of your leader tiles, with the Brazil faction having four to choose from. Each turn you will place your action marker in one of these windows to show you are taking that action. The first action is deploy. We choose to deploy our monarch paying two gold. We place our monarch at our capital. After each action you may take a bonus movement below it. Here that is to move one unit to our capital. And you may always take a single movement after each action. Here our monarch moves. The painting action lets you take one of the paintings for its ongoing bonuses. Pay the cost and replace the painting card with a new one. The build action lets you build a new tile adjacent to existing ones. Each hex is limited in what can be built there. This is a gold hex so we build a gold building, paying its building cost. We then place the resources shown on the tile on it. The renovate action lets you either replenish one building by restocking it to its original resources or you can flip the building over to its other side and place new resources on it. The manufacture action lets you pay resources to move one of these markers to the matching window below. That gives you a benefit each and every time you take that action. Here that makes manufacturing cost one less resource. The harbour action lets you gain a resource or a powerful gold card if upgraded. And finally, the trade action lets you trade resources, gold and science. A few notes. Moving a unit into a question mark tile reveals it and can grant bonuses and challenges. After you complete a mission card, place your current era action token underneath any action. You get a bonus taking that action from now on. You also get to place one of your point scoring palaces on the board. Cities have unique costs and must be built where your monarch is, and can be outside of your network. Finally, combat is decided by the strength of the units involved, the defender's tile value, and painting and combat cards. All units' victory point values are their strengths. Winning a combat lets you occupy that space, but if your troops move away, control will revert to the player who built it. Removed troops can be redeployed later without paying their recruitment costs. Why would you like this game? Brazil features a grab bag of game mechanisms, but it's fundamentally an action selection game where you take one of those seven actions each turn. And I think you'll get the most out of the game if you treat it as an action optimization game. Trying to wring the most out of each action you take. The mix of building, exploring, marching armies about, and developing gold card technologies will appeal to people who like classic Civ games too. It feels like a sandbox game that happens to have other players in it. The painting cards are very striking, and I love the art direction too. There's also a supplemental history book that gives detail about each card's background. All up, a solid Civ style game with less direct conflict than most. The uh, best thing about this game is the renovate action. I like double sided buildings and this idea could be pushed more. However, combat is not conquest in this game and if you pick it up looking for lots of fights, you may be disappointed. And generally, it's a Euro optimization game, not a game of conquest. And as a note, I know very little about the history of Brazil. I have no idea if this game depicts it well at all. For a similar game in a fictional world, try Scythe. And for a more generic civilization game, try Civilization A New Dawn. Brazil. By the way, this guy is not this guy. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.